Hi, Dubily Instructor Sarah. Playing around of chess, huh? Wait, since when do you play chess, Instructor? Surprised? My dad taught me when I was little. Of course, I'm no expert. I wouldn't stand a chance against you, let alone someone like Machias. Apparently, Dubily learned a game from the Steel Maiden. I guess that makes sense. Oh dear. You just took one peek at the board. That doesn't mean you know anything about me. And let me make one thing clear. My lord, Arian Road, is a masterful chess player. If I come up short, that's entirely due to my own poor learning skills. It's no reflection on her teaching, understand? Uh, sure, sure, I didn't mean to offend. It looks like the game barely started, though. It's only moved a few pawns and knights around. Actually, your board is almost symmetrical. Almost, not quite. You know, all this chess has gotten me in the mood for a round of Vantage Masters. Are you going to play chess and Vantage Masters at the same time? Like those people who play multiple games of chess at once? Huh, so the bugs caught you too? Yeah, most of the class 7 got caught up, in the, caught up in the game, so I ended up getting into it as well. I remember you were at the casino and you apparently, uh, were, uh, were apparently not doing too well against Zephyr in that game. Let's play a few rounds when you have the time. Definitely. It's probably improved a lot since then. Okay, let's duel. I'm, I'm gonna have to use the Paladin deck, maybe. I just need a really fast deck. Having a fast deck really helps more than having stun this? tactics. Oh no. Around. Beast obtained. Hard. We're gonna have to go with this deck again. <laughs> Think you're ready for this? Nuke both. Hmm. Uinbell will probably get killed by one of our cards sooner or later, so I might as well just do a ton of burst damage now. I should revive Unveld next turn, actually. This thing not take any damage at all?
is such a ridiculous move. Heal. Damage. And done. Uh, one more round. Oh, that was pretty tough, even with my more uh, uh, flight focused deck. Thanks again, Altina. Don't mention it. Oh, what's this all about? I've been trying to set something up so I can do a feature on the Imperial Army. Your PR manager is not too hot on the idea, though. Two minutes into the interview and he shuts me right down. There's a way to get around everything, and who better to ask for advice than a resident former intelligence division agent? So basically you've been getting Altina to dig up Duro and the PR officer. I prefer to think of it as creative research. I no longer have access to the intelligence, intelligence division database, but I was able to find something in the archives that could help. In return, Vivi got me this hot cocoa. Vivi, please don't corrupt my students. How get over a wall in your training, huh? Well, one way is just to just forget about it for a while. Taking a break can help give you a new perspective on things. A break? Right, even I set aside some time to read, or play chess, or drink some coffee now and again. It can really help. Let's see, I know you're in the swimming club, but do you have any other interests outside of that? Apart from training and club activities, you mean? Hmm, soliciting donations for worthy causes, perhaps? I mean, that's an excellent use of your time, but I was thinking more like a hobby. Something you do to relax. First, Wayne, Sydney, now Wayne. There must be something about Machias that makes people go to him for advice. Who would have thought that the hothead know-it-all I met way back when would someday become such a great mentor? Oh, hey guys, how's it going in here? Great, we're just talking about a shared acquaintance of ours. Butter Wazi, one of my fellow Dominions. Oh yeah, he works with a special support section sometimes, right? We only found out about Wazi being a Dominion during the Crossbell incident. It's hard to think of him as Father Wazi, to be honest. To me, he'll always be the gang leader of the Testaments. Now, you gotta, you gotta admit, though, he always had that air of mystery to him. Just when you thought he was in the middle of a gang war, you'd find him in a back alley bar pouring drinks for women. Sounds like a real character. He hides it well, that's all I can say. Whenever I saw him in Arteria, he always acted like a mall citizen. Are you, and you're really Margarita? Of course, who would go to the trouble of impersonating me? I may have slimmed down the lull, but my inner beauty still shines through, don't you think? It's more dazzling than ever. Hey, nice work, Margarita. Do you come up with another new diet food? <laughs> Indeed, though it tears one's stomach up with such ferocity, I honestly couldn't recommend it to the average layperson. But you should be fine, Freddy. You, you have a cultured enough palate that it shouldn't be a problem. Oh, 
cool. I'd love to try it sometime. But, but there'd be nothing left of you but skin and bones. Margarita and Freddy together are a guaranteed recipe for chaos. Things have really changed. Our days in the tennis club feel like a lifetime away. Yeah, I don't think I've ever picked up my racket for at least a month. Do you get a chance to go swimming in Ordis, Leo? I took a couple of dips, yeah. But I've gotta admit, even with the ocean, I kinda miss the old school pool. No waves, no buoyancy, and then there's that smell of chlorine in the water. Everything's worse, but that smell has some charm, you know? I very much do. Right, going swimming's not the same unless you get that smell. Things have been kind of blah lately. I feel like we're wasting our youth. Kurt, you gotta, you gotta get a girlfriend anytime soon or what? Or what is a good question? Do you think we have more important things to worry about right now? Dude, you'll never get any action if you let stuff like that bar you. In fact, now's a better time than ever. I mean, really, love burns stronger in the face of adversity, man. Get a clue. Look, just look at that. She and Tatiana are doing great. They're not letting the end of the world get to them. I can't believe I'm still single. At least if you were a girl, I could fool people into thinking we were a couple. I'm going to pretend you didn't say that. Besides, if I were a girl, I doubt it would put up with you long enough for us to spend any time together. So I see Sydney looking so downhearted. You're helping out Becky's shop, Stark? We'll be working with her a lot, but are you going getting a lot of it? Yeah, absolutely. I'm learning so much. Becky's network has provided us with massive assistance during all this. I see. But you know, if we're talking about networks, we've got a lot of connections too. Thanks, but any connections I've got on the dry side are entirely thanks to my family. Looking back on it, I'm very I'm very glad I've built connections with so many independent businesses during our fuel exercises. So instructor, since you're here and all, how about picking up a little something for later? Like Becky always says, you cannot sp spell Zemuria without Mira. I recommend you keep it flowing by contributing to our operations here on the Courageous 2. Uh, you're quite the businessman yourself. Alright, here's the stuff you ordered. Dust Gangster Mishi, Sister Mishi, and Jail Time Mishi. Everything look alright? Hell yeah, they're finally here. I'm glad I could snap all up, up all the limited edition merch before it disappeared. But it kinda makes me wish I could just get them at the plushy stores and leaves like I used to. Ugh, this sucks. Heh, <laughs> even you can act your age sometimes, huh? Enough my chance to get in good with knowing Volley. You know, I could get you some more of these if you're interested. I got a full handy business network. Imagine it's just as good as those underground roots of yours. For real? You did that for me? Well, I could really use some Kagemaru merch. Like the Kagemaru Dagger and the Kagemaru Shuriken. Thing is, they never shipped to the Empire, so they go for a small fortune at the auctions. Good luck tracking them down. You could have a pick something a wee bit easier. Becky and Jingo really are cut from the same cloth. Reading alone, Ash? Finding it a bit tough to join in on Dorothy and Tatiana's conversation despite being in the lit club yourself, I take it. I don't know, what's it look like to you, Ice Guy? Anytime I bring up a book, they start going on about how I don't look the type or some shit, and then Dorothy ends up pitching her nose. Gee, she kinda makes me think it might be better if she just passed out from the blood loss. I see. Well, um, in that case, maybe you should keep your distance for now, for everyone's safety. So, Tatiana, you know, what do you think? Which, who, which is the dominant force on the clock face? The hour hand or the minute hand? Let me think. Well, the minute hand moves a lot faster. It, it's the one turning the hour hand, so maybe that's the one in charge. A fine answer, but the way I see it, it's the other way around. The hour hand mostly stays put. It lets the minute hand wear itself out, chasing after that brief moment when they touch. It may look docile, but deep down it's a levish, a, a sievish little tease. Oh, I never thought of it like that. What, in the, what the hell kind of conversation did I just stumble into? Is that the uniform you wore while you were helping it out St. Ursula, Valerie? I didn't see it before, it really suits you. It doesn't really matter if it suits me or not. It really does though, Valerie. But maybe that's because of how well you suit the job. You're always such a big help and have such a great eye for detail. Well, she's an excellent observer, so it only, only makes sense. I'm proud of you, Valerie. You've really come into your own. Er, thanks, I guess. Lucky for us, the military hasn't placed too many restrictions on music broadcasts. With them shutting down entertainment programs left and right, this is our best option for giving the citizens a little courage. 
When you put it that way, how can I refuse? Where are we going? Uh, where are we doing the recording? Radio Chista? Yeah, Director Michael gave us the okay, so we can use the radio studio whenever we want. There was one other thing. I've been looking for someone to compose a new theme song for my radio drama. What do you say, Elliot? I want the special we've got coming up to really feel like something new. Oh, so that's what this is all about. Sure, why not? I can see how serious you are about this. You're the best, Elliot. Monk really does know how to work people. So I can't wait to find out what kind of theme song Elliot comes up with. This radio special is shaping up to be pretty, er, uh, special. We're already up to the second rivalry. I guess Rufus is going to get his turn sooner or later. Rufus is the Auric Knight's Awakener, huh? That thing's got some top-of-the-line specs, even by Divine Knight standards. It's got the potential to be a real pain in our ass. Is that so? The Ebon Knight aside, it makes sense that the strongest Divine Knights would be colored gold and silver, I suppose. Yeah, that's what Ordin told me, anyhow. But you can't rule out the skill of the Awakeners. Rufus is a master of court fencing. Then you have the Bell Hardened Jaeger King. Yeah, yeah, Zephyr's got a reputation for being one of the toughest Jaeger corps around. Your fighting styles may be different, but you could probably go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Steel Maiden any day. Probably, yeah. Jeez, it's only the second round and things are ramping up already. We haven't exactly had time to ease into things up till now. We've just got to face every new challenge as best we can. No backing down. The uneven power distribution among the knights. I feel like the rivalry is mostly there for the benefit of the weaker knights so that they could f take out each other in order to catch up to the stronger ones. Yeah, if it weren't for the power absorption system, I don't see how it would be possible for the weaker ones to get a, a, a chance to win. Hi, Lisa. Got Sharon serving you tea again already? We agreed this could be your penance for making us worry all the worry so much. No one can bring out this flavor like you, Sharon. I've missed you. I'm always pleased to be of assistance. Will you care for a cup too, Reen? The leaves are harvested in summer to give the tea a smooth, full body flavor. Sounds good, but I'll pass. I figure you two could use some time to get reacquainted. Take good care of Elisa, Sharon. Always. <laughs> I'm really not as delicate as you all seem to think I am. All the same, thank you, Reen. Also, they say that Ishmelga has to fight last because he's so strong compared to the others. Maybe that's why we're uh, why we're not gonna fight the gold and silver ones right away. Otherwise, it wouldn't we wouldn't be strong enough for them to really get the most out of the absorption effect. Oh wow! Looks like the tea ceremony clubs back together. But where do you get those tatami mats? We brought them over from the club room back at the branch campus. They would have gone to waste just sitting in storage. We, so we took the liberty of picking them up during our last mission. How resourceful of you. Would you like to join us, Instructor? I appreciate the invitation, and it does look like a lot of fun. But I'm sure you guys have a lot of cashing up to do. I don't want to get in the way. Shame, perhaps another time then. Hmm, there's something happening at the end of the room here. Huh? There's a tr an event with Laura. Are you sure about this fee? Shouldn't you be conserving your strength? It's fine. I need to get some exercise or I won't be able to relax. That's great and all, but don't go too nuts. I know. I don't plan on carrying any exhaustion to my fight with the boss. Hmm, how about some training with the slef near you, a slife near you, son? That could work. That hardly counts as light exercise, but I guess it's just right for fee right now. Just let me know when when you're planning to get started. I want to sit and make sure none of you overdo it. Okay. Very well. I actually can sub Bells of Slife Nearest right now, but... Eh. Uh, there's no new Bells yet, so these won't be very good for training anyways. The dungeon enemies would be the better for training, since we're actually on the same power level and such. Barrier's been lifted, and now it's time for the rivalry at the Draco Shrine. Might be a good idea to take a soak and wash up before a battle of the Jaeger King. Oh, Instructor! Oh, it's you! Kurt, Ash, are you done with your preparations? Yes, we thought we'd take one last soak, though we don't have too much time. It'll have to be a quick one, though. Hey, oh hey, you guys too, huh? Your Highness, and Randy too. What the hell? How did we all end up here? Then we... Just relax, please. No need to maintain appearances here, alright? 
We should all be able to fit five people in here. Let's all hurry up and get to it. Huh, you got it. I asked Professor Russell and he specifically included it for me. That was the right call, was it not, Reen? No, I figured as much. So Tia's grandpa, huh? Seems like a funny dude, doesn't he? Now he's a delightful elder who deserves the utmost respect. His daughter Erica can be a rather intense, however. Right, and she's holding quite a, the grudge against Agate. I hear, here Tia's old man is just about the most mild-mannered guy on the continent, but even he can kick some ass when he needs to. That's right, Agate must be going for a tough time. Now his general demeanor is enviable. His misfortunes balance that out, at least. Yeah, it's gotta be rough. So do you think they're... You're asking the wrong person, Randy. Change the topic, but dude, is your eye okay? I've heard it isn't going to stay in the water too long with that sort of injury. Uh, no need for that to fret. The worst of it is behind me. I even received a clearance to indulge in drink, should I wish. If so wish. It would be a shame if I couldn't enjoy a nice drink in the bath of my beloved Shara, after all. Probably not a good idea to drink in the bath, your highness. Yes, my brother would agree. Dude, it's gotta be great being able to bape, uh, uh, bape with a babe like Shara. So cheek elegant in life. I really envy you, man. Is that right? Speaking of which, it seems like you're growing cl right close to a gorgeous someone yourself, Randy. Now we're just former colleagues, that's all. You leopards are really, all really happy these days, ain't ya? Huh? Ash and I will remain diligent in burying ourselves in the meantime. Where's unity increased? Hmm. Any additional scenes? No, it's just the, uh, just have to make sure everyone somehow gets their that's the good costumes. Stuff. There we get costumes for everyone. I think I did. Maybe I'm not sure. I better double check everyone's costume menu. <sighs> this is okay. Got pretty much all the bathing clothes now. Yep, just Laura and Emma was left. Next generation engine from ZCF, hmm? Seems to be running without issue. And there seems to be no compatibility issues with the mainframe RF design with my careful consultation. However, because it was cobbled together so quickly, I already see some maintainability issues. Right, Min, Pablo, and I have been doing our best to keep the system running. Professor, maybe now that you're here, could you? Hmm, I hope you're not about to ask me to do your work for you. This problem of maintainability has piqued my interest, but I'll have nothing to do with anything beyond that. As, and as we work, you may want to test your friends in military finance with writing up a manual. I'm on it. You really do think of everything, Professor Schmidt. Yeah, and you're always looking out for everyone, too. Don't get the wrong idea. The advice I give is spent on logic, nothing more. Now, if you have time to talk, you could have time to get to work. You have time to work. Get to it. Of course, right away. That's real, young man. I think we can dispense with any pleasantries. He turns his head twice like that. Is that because I'm right behind him? Time is precious to me. I don't have the luxury of wasting it in conversation. Alright, I'll get it out of your hair. Alright guys, so it's time to get Operation Divine Knight slash Panzer Solat scrub down on their way. I'll take care of Val and Norty. Gustav, you take Draki and Heck. Pablo, you've got Kess and Gelly. Of course, Miss Mint. Gelly, oh, the Spiegel. I thought you named that one Speepers. I did, but it didn't really work for me, so I changed it to Gelly. Huh, no bother. For all our fo uh, foibles, Mint really does get along with well with the students. Still an empty. Next up is the second rivalry, finally. Belmar, Milliam, I'm gonna need your help again. That Meister is quite an interesting one. Not many would suggest hand-washing us. I know what you mean. But Valmar really seemed to appreciate it. He said it made him feel lighter, both physically and spirit. In that case, I'm looking forward to it. Hi, Reen. So we're finally headed to the next rivalry. Try not to overlink it. Just face it head on like last time. I recommend staying up here on deck for a while. The pressure is rather invigorating. That's true. Maybe I'll help clear my head a little. Human technology has really come a long way. I think they managed to make something this big fly so fast. 
I've heard that during the Middle Ages, witches tr traveled using artifacts that looked like the modern broomstick. Flying like that used up a lot of mana too, if they could only see us now. Witches on brooms, huh? So that part of the old fairy tales is true. I wish I could see that. I was hoping George would come join us again, but it looks like that's not going to happen. I wouldn't hold my breath. The prince may have forgiven George, but he's having still having trouble forgiving himself. He and Crow are a lot alike in that way, although it's probably the only thing they do have in common. Right, Reen? Yeah, George has always held himself to a high standard. I think it's a little inconsiderate of him to leave Toa in the dark like this, though. Definitely. Next time I see George, I'm going to give him a real piece of my mind. Well, we're at it. I think Crow deserves to be raked over the coals a little, too. Ah, sorry, Crow. You're on your own for this one. Oh, so you can cut out this operation completely. That's pretty cool, but I haven't been sitting idle myself. Take a look at this macro I've been working on. Oh, nice. I think we can use this. I never would have thought of something like this. You're so creative, Alfin. Thank you. I still can't complete, uh, compete with you when it comes to processing speed, though. Hi, Elise, Princess Alfin. You two sure are dedicated to keep studying at a time like this. The way you're always pushing each other to improve is really cool, too. I suppose we do have something of a friendly rivalry going on. Yeah, I guess so. A lot of these modifications came together because of different contributions from both of us. You make a great team for that's for sure. Keep up the good work, girls. We'll try not to disappoint. Thank you for the encouragement, Reen. You can see a bluish light over where the footpath is. Hamel's that way. Something strange seems to be afoot in that town again. Yeah, we can see it from Parm. Pretty much guaranteed to get a bite here. Okay, this is weird. The game gives us the option of talking to Oliver on the bridge, but also puts red marks near the village and the ruins? Huh? You head to Draco's Sanctuary? What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, the Sanctuary is at the village now, right. But then, what's with the bridge, then? Will that also take me to Draco's Sanctuary? Seems weird to have two points of access. Talk to me, Oliver. I must say, I hadn't anticipated a barrier, and now a second rivalry awaits you. Every time I see you in the others, it gets me thinking. Even if we proposed that the Great Twilight was a fate we could not escape from, it does not mean your roles in the, all this couldn't have had slight fluctuations. But I've been selected as a Vermilion Awakener, for example. Perhaps neither you nor Cedric would have to shoulder such heavy burdens. Well, but the, if you were chosen as a Vermilion Awakener, isn't there a possibility you might get... <laughs> Have to deal with the Vermilion Apocalypse? Hmm. Prince Oliver, I know that no good can come of dredging up all regrets, and yet... Well, if he was selected after the after we dealt with the Vermilion Apocalypse, he maybe could have controlled it, but who knows. No, I really appreciate the way you're feeling. We don't need to think like that. Without you, we wouldn't have stood a chance. Actually, how... They'd have to make, like, an, a giant orbital rifle or gun for him somehow. Oh, he feels gratitude towards you. And I believe I'm the one who should be expressing such thoughts. In any case, seeing as I've managed to stay alive, I'll be supporting you all with everything I have. Be careful when you challenge the second rivalry. Please come back safely. Yes, we definitely will. I can head there right now. Hmm. Alright, I don't think there's any sub-quests right now, so head over. Hmm. Wow, this world of mana is incredible. Yeah, and take a look at where it's coming from. Hamel, huh? Never been there before. Let's get this over with. Judging from where the light is, it must be right in the middle of the place. Don't rush in. Keep your guard up. Is there anything here that I might have missed from last time? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything worth fighting here, either. Oh, 
all the way on on the grave up there. This a completely replace the grave? That's, no, no, the current vendor is still in front of it. It's built right over the fence too. Do you feel that? Yeah, it's like the air is buzzing with electricity. This is the rivalry spot, all right. At least they didn't screw with the memorial stone. Come on, let's do this. Yeah, we're going in. Hmm. Actually, part of the fence seems to be clipping into the shrine. Yeah. That could be a problem. Shrine also seems to extend downwards, too. Of barriers everywhere. A wind based shrine, fitting for Zephyr. This is the Draco Sanctuary, huh? It appears similar to the Luna Sanctuary at first glance. Its aura, however, differs completely. All because of the coming rivalry, no doubt. But we'll probably need to set the stage here as well, just the same as before. Yeah, seems like it. I can't doubt old Rudgar's the only one waiting for us in here. Yeah, I probably brought the rest of the squad too. They're not. Either way, it doesn't change what I'm here to do. Zeno, you know Leo, and the boss all help to raise me. It's up to me to confront them. We'll make sure that you do, Fee. Alright, team, it's time we start an investigation. Stand your toes. There's no telling what the second rivalry might hold in store. Understood. Huh, they didn't give us the good uh, Orbit Station. We can can we still leave if we need to? Yes, we could. Um Huh. Guess this will le lead to another path later. Hmm. There's There's two more orbit stations, which is probably where two of the bosses are. I sense the forces of wind at work within this barrier. There's gotta be a way to disable it. I'll let you figure that one out. Hmm. Turtle. Okay, Gaius and Eusis. Give it your all. What? You won't escape. Leave it to me. It's my turn. Look. To the spot. Howling heavens. This. Leave it to me. Uh, that's right. I don't think Eustace can do his the EP turn. charge. Leave it to me. At least I can still a heal bonus. It's my turn. It's my turn. Leave it to me. Hmm. Let's see. 
Gonna need... Where's my EP charges? Let's go. Leave it to me. I can use Sacred Roar to get my hit points back. Hmm. Bella. Let's go. This. Yes, I. Leave it to me. Okay, now we bow scope and just whack it to death. Leave it to me. Now. There. Let's go. Hmm. Light. Noble arc. Let's go. It's down! There! Leave it to me! They're open! There! <laughs> it would seem the winds were on our side. I was only following in your wake. Steel, steel bell times two. A matter of course. Okay, that was a pretty successful run. Dominion Roar. What's the break rate now? Same as before, but I guess it lasts a little bit longer or heals more. Hmm. The winds here aren't sh Damn, get a load of the sky! The winds here are churning out of control. I've never felt such chaos. Zephyr must really be whipping up a storm. Uh, you nice if they show us a hitbox that w w where the active voices are supposed to activate. So I can prepare for it a little better. Okay, now I need to break that one and get the chest. Turn around. Are these guys really p still resistant to physicals? Tough. Don't let your guard Whoa. down. Ha! Danger levels high. Watch out. All right, use up a ton of BP. Treasure located. Fashion leggings. I get a passion leggings. I feel like it's the common one. I don't know. Yeah, it's just a stronger anti-freeze thing. Oh, it's a treasure chest. White knight garment. Hmm, ATS equipment. Alright, let's take a look at what we have here. We have one thing I need to break. Um, a chest and a switch. If I try to go across this, will it, will it collapse on me? Let's see. Dragon incense. And what if I hit the switch? Will it change the position of the bridge? Maybe I have to break this one first. Hmm. Shit. Weird. Well, give me a shortcut back, I guess. Hello, 
there, Fee. And Reen Schwarzer himself. And yet, yet again, everyone's going back to playing us just by themselves. Even though they were taking advantage of the link Man, system before. Took you guys long enough. I was getting tired of waiting. Zeno. We knew you'd be here. Trapmaster Zeno. Great, guy's got Trapmaster right in his name and we still fall for it. Oh, come on, relax. They ain't turning this place into a minefield anytime soon. Wouldn't want to spoil the stage by blowing it into pieces, yeah? So we were right, then. You're here to help set the stage for our next rivalry. Yep, gotta make sure the boss gets his time in the limelight. Besides, it's our fault for waking him up from the big sleep in the first place. I knew it. Bay was more shocked than angry about it, huh? Huh, he nailed it. It was all, can't even say dead without my grown-ass kids mucking things up for me, can I? But you know, it's not like we could have just turned down the chief's, uh, uh, that chief guy's offer. Ten years ago, a hitman was sent to snuff the boss out. He disarmed him in one go, inviting him out for drinks in the same breath. Crazy, eh? After that, he tracked down the guy who hired the assassin and raced their entire organization to the ground. As for the assassin, the boss took him under his wing, treated him just like family. That's the kind of guy he is to me. Not just a leader, but the father I never had. I see. It was like that for you and Leo, and everyone else in Zephyr too. And you know more than anyone how much he means to me. You're not gonna stop us here, Zeno. You guys might be my family, but nothing's gonna stop us from getting to the boss. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're not a little kid anymore, huh? Well, if you're looking for a fight, I'm happy to oblige. B, Schwarzer, you guys better give it your all, or you might end up dead. <laughs> better give this all you got! Okay. I'm gonna burst. Leave it to me. Shining. You ain't gonna like these. Oh, uh, these turn. things. I can have Dragon Vision on Reen right now. That might help me scan the javelins. It's my turn! Okay. Use Noble Arc. What? It's my turn! Yes, there scout it. Find them shield just to be on the safe side. Devon. Just run up to him and whack him so that your Aegis Quartz does the rest. Have some of this! Weak! It's down! An opening! My turn! You're already almost at the halfway point? Leave it to me. Divine. Now. Multiple layers. Hmm. How fast can you lock Forte us? Fast enough. Let's go. I shall go. She still has enough shining stacks too. Yeah. Have 
some of this! Weak! Ugh. Now! And open it! Oh, now it's getting interesting. Leave it to me. Okay, now he's reset his break gauge, so probably not gonna be able to break him at all this uh, in this round. Arcus, activate! Ha! Yeah. Ha! Hmm. Got it! She still has all her buffs. Yeah. Actually, might as well just have Reem pop his S craft again. Sitting on 200, after all. My turn. Okay, now I will try to activate Reen's normal attack by whacking you with one of these. Cypher Edge. Let's go! Now! And open it! Now! Okay, is she still sh shining? Well, not like it matters. He's gonna use his S-Craft anyways, or buff himself or whatever. Okay. Rionac with Reen. Rionac, activate fire! There! And open it! Leave it to me! We just finish him off right now, actually. Alright, let's do this! Now! Join! Ha! Now, for the big finish! Let the group say! You got me. The coast is clear, but stay on your toes. Got both scouters and got some uh, uh, MQs leveled up. Oh. All right, got it. A matter. Stats updated. That's how it's done. Summon Ordine Two. <sighs> nice. You got some real skills, girl. V, I'll leave everything from here to you. The rest of you as well. Give the boss my regards. Sure thing. We will. Alongside Fee. Huh. Glad to hear it. Damn. I'd expect no less from a Zephyr commander. Guess these rivalry rules kind of expect everyone... Uh, expect the enemy to split up. In order... Uh, or something. In order to make the dungeon complete. <sighs> For such a scrawny looking guy, he was seriously tough. What the... So, if I didn't grab that chest, I would have had to use the switch to reset that bridge, huh? The mechanism seems to have moved. We'll probably need to unlock it on the other side, too. Okay, let's go. I was wondering why that switch wasn't working earlier. Any more... S I'll take care of the boss, you know. Can we take his weapon? It looks really nice. Okay, now... Onto Leo's side of the dungeon. Jackpot! Composure Shawl. <laughs> well, this this part seems empty. No, there's no enemy up ahead. Okay, a bunch of stones. <laughs> Did 
see. Here's one more chest here. Finish this quickly. Looks like we hit the jackpot. Crimson Sun Shoes. <laughs> ATS Shoes. I am prepared to strike. Okay, that's one thing down. Gotta remember to grab this before fighting the boss. Zerum Capsule. Hmm. Yeah, we may went full circle. There you are at last. I've been expecting you, Fee. Schwarza, so you got past Zeno. Yeah, somehow. Fee, watching you grow throughout your years has been a journey in itself. Seems like only yesterday you were just a babe. Now, and now you're just finding your way to face the boss himself. And I will, I have to, for Reen, for everyone else. And for me, more than anyone. I won't be able to move on until I do. Fee! Huh, you tell him. I right, take it you're ready then. Good, I won't be going uh, be going easy on you, you know. He doesn't have any minions, but he's still got a really big pile driver. I'll make a formidable foe, no doubt. Well, I do call him the behemoth for a reason. It's been a while since I've seen you let loose the warrior's blood inside you, Leo. Oh yes, I've told you this many times before as a bedtime story as I recall. I come from a remote village in the central east, rich in resources, but marred by bandits and armed stealers. My family defended our village from such raiders for generations. One day the merchants returned with a battleship. We stood no chance. But who should then happen to come drive them back? It was the Jaeger King of Zephyr, with his commander, the Killing Bear, right alongside him. Garcia. That day I swore my allegiance to the boss to repay him for saving my village. When he was killed, I was devastated. I made an oath to serve him until the day I died. Never did I expect he would do so first. So when Albrecht offered a way to bring him back, you agreed to his plan without a second thought. I get it, Leo. I may have done just the same in your shoes. But that doesn't stop your choice from being a selfish one. Yes, I'm well aware. <laughs> Who would have thought the day would come when I would be chastised by you? If you think I've made a mistake or that my loyalty has gone too far, then show me! Prove that you are worthy to challenge the boss! Understood! Get ready, Leo! Here we come! Now! Wait, well, he gets the first turn? Prove your strength to me! Weak! It's down! An opening! Let's go! Okay... La Forte. Uh, got it. Hmm. What? My turn. Shining. Arcus, activate. Ha! Very well. You have my thanks. Now. Okay, Crescent Mirror, and since I don't have any guards up. Arcus, activate! Oh, I stole the heal bonus, too. Let's 
Let's go! Okay. I'm gonna use Termination slash Dusk. My turn. Hmm. Now we try to get as many crits as possible. Rionac activate fire! Now! An opening! Very well. Devo hmm. Got it. Tricyclone. Ready? Ha! Ha! You're done! Mm. Uh. Oh, his strength went down temporarily. Hmm. It's my turn. On your knees. They're open! An opening! <laughs> You've come a long way. Prepare yourselves. We still got our barriers up, right? I shall go. Uh, everyone's has so many sass effects at once, it's a little hard to tell, but I think we do. I don't remember him actually hit, getting past those barriers yet. Hmm. My turn. Light. I shall go. Riona, activate fire. There. An opening. My turn. Hey, okay. Cypher Edge. Let's go! It's down! There! Here I go. Fly! Here's where the real pain starts. Calamitous R! It's my turn. Divide. Now. Okay, Brionic again. Brionic, activate fire. Now. And only. My turn. Broke ya. Leave it to me. Okay, now you can just whack him to death. No problem. Maybe get some BP for the next fight. Now. I shall go. There. There. It's mine. Very well. Hmm. They're open. It's mine. I'm up. Uh. 
You've bested me. I can't afford to lose. Mobius leveled up. All right, got it. Summon Velmar two. A matter of course. Stats updated. That's how it's done. I wouldn't expect any less from the behemoth. We did it. Well, well. You actually defeated me. I still thought of you as a child, Fee. But you've shown me I was mistaken. So go, Fee. The boss awaits. Schwarzer, Armbrust, I leave the rest to you. Got it. You can breathe easy now, Leo. <laughs> You're really heaping the pressure on. Yeah. We can't let it hold us back. The path to the altar is open. We've made it. Yeah, let's take a deep breath and move along. Yeah, those switches can be activated now. We have a lot of things to fight on the way to the altar. Yeah, it looks like we have at least two enemies left. Okay, let's keep going up. Yeah, I see we have to fight both of the mini boss type enemies now. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh, a treasure chest. Seiryu. Okay. Break this, and we should be able to go in. Should be a safe a healing point wing for us on the other side of that portal, right? It'd be pretty tragic if there weren't, and just may, may us go right into the boss battle. Good, there is a heal point. It's not the good one, but it's good enough. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 4. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.